Hi there, this is Betty the Dudo Groomer Chick and Mr. Clifford here. We saw a very popular video online about a girl who was trying to trim her doggy's nails. She wrapped her head with plastic wrap and put some peanut butter on her forehead. And meanwhile, the doggy was licking it off. She was trimming the doggy's nails. Meanwhile, I find her dedication and creativity admiring. From professional perspective, I really have to share two major mistakes what she did to help you prevent injury for your dog and for yourself in case you try to copy what she did. The first mistake we really want to avoid is taking a look at the doggy's nail from the top or from the side view. So the horny tissue is blocking our view to see the softer layers of the nail. Whenever we trim with that method, we have no idea how deep we are cutting and we run the risk of cutting in the quick, the live part of the nail, which has a lot of blood vessels and nerve endings. So the doggy will bleed a lot and they will be in a lot of pain. And we arrive to the second mistake, which is a direct result of the first one. The doggy's nail is bleeding, the doggy is in pain. Guess how he or she will let you know that they are in pain and they don't want you to continue. They're gonna use big guns. And where are they gonna use the big guns? The closest thing on you to them, which in this case is your face. If you need to trim your doggy's nails and you wanna do it the safe way, check out my online course, Nail It, a step-by-step -step guide to joyful dog nail trimming.